hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about the automatic water tape control system for this project we will be needing a solenoid valve a fatic plc fbs 14 or fbs 20 or any other fatic plc i'll be using fbs 20 we will also be needing two 12 volt adopters one adopter will be used for energizing the relays to turn on and off the relay and the other adopter will be used as external supply for the solenoid valve so before we start the programming first let's discuss the sensor wiring and the edge bridge wiring watch this tutorial from start to the very end because in the upcoming tutorials we will be using the same connections so let's start with the circuit diagram and then practically I'll show you all the connections so these are the basic connections on the input side we'll be using four infrared sensors and these infrared sensors are of the type NPN okay each sensor has three wires the one is the output and the uh, plus 24 volts wire and the ground so the sensor number one is connected with x0 input of the plc and a sensor number two is connected with x1 input of the plc and sensor number three is connected with x2 and the fourth sensor is connected with x3 and similarly all the other wires are connected with plus 24 volts at uh, ground so these are exactly the same connections so as uh, I'm using the NPA type sensor, so the SS uh, contact of the PLC will be connected with plus 24 volts. And if uh, I was using the PNP type sensors, then I would connect the SS contact with the ground. Okay, as I'm using uh, FBS20 MCT, so uh, what does it mean? the 20 I'm talking about the 20 what does it mean actually if we look at the ABS 20 uh, PLC the inputs we have from X0 to X11 which are 12 inputs and the outputs are from Y0 to Y7 which are 8 outputs so total inputs we have 12 and the total outputs are 8 so 12 plus 8 equal to 20 so 20 means that we have 12 inputs and 8 outputs and we have uh, like uh, different types of PLC for example it, it may be FBS 20 MAR or while well, the one I'm using is 20 MCTs which is uh, using the transistor logic and the MAR is using the relay logic so I have also connected uh, 8 push buttons with a PLC so one side of each push button is connected with the ground as I'm uh, uh, using the NPN configuration and the other sides are connected with X4, X5, X6, X7, X8, X9 up to X11 so we have eight push buttons and four infrared sensors so that's it these are the connections uh, which uh, we will be using on the input side and now we will discuss the output connections of the edge bridge okay now let's start with the relay the, the, the relay I'm using is 12 volt SPDT type uh, the SPDT stands for the single pole double throw and uh, we have uh, five pins the one is the common and these two are the coil pins and one is the normally closed and the other one is the normally open so how relay works when we connect plus 12 volts on one side and ground on the other side and it doesn't matter whether we connect 12 volt over here or over here these terminals can be changed so the then the common is connected with the with with this pin so the relay turns on so a relay is basically a switch which can be controlled with the help of an electrical signal or just like a switch a normal a normal switch so 
and this is the schematic symbol for the relay these are the ball pins this one is common normally closed and normally open so now let's discuss the edge bridge okay now this is one relay and this is the other one so the common pins of both the relays are connected with the load that we want to control uh, now that load can be a bulb a motor or a solenoid wall etc now actually this is an edge bridge and we know that edge bridge are mostly used for controlling the DC motors for controlling their directions but we can also use edge bridge to control a bulb if we don't change the polarity if we turn on only one relay it can be used to control a bulb or a solenoid valve whether we don't need to change the polarity but if in case we want to control a motor then we can change the polarity by turning on this relay so if we want so if we if we don't want to change the polarity then we can uh, turn on and off only one relay and if we want to change the polarity then we can turn on and off also this one so the polarity can be changed as uh, in the beginning I've told you that uh, we'll be using two adopters so the one will be used for for uh, turning on and off the uh, relay so these are the 12 volts plus 12 volts connected on this side and the other side of the relays can be connected to any uh, output of the PLC from Y0 to YN and sil similarly over here for the other relay the one side of the coil is connected with the plus 12 volt and the other one with the the output of the PLC which can be any output of the PLC from Y0 to YN now if we look over here the normally closed pin of the relay is connected with plus 12 volt which is the external supply now this external supply can be uh, an adopter or it can be a 12 volt battery or any other source and this one is connected with the ground so this is the same external supply and also connected over here plus uh, 12 volt with a normally closed pin and the ground so how it works when we turn on for example when there is no signal from the uh, from the plc both the relays are in off state and normally closed position so the plus 12 volt is coming from here and also plus 12 volt is coming from here so as there is no change in polarity so the load will remain off and now for example i turn on this relay so this the, the common of the relay will connect with this ground so as you can see 12 volt is coming from here and the ground then is coming from here so and let's suppose that a motor is connected over here so it will rotate in one direction and when I off this relay it will go back to its previous position and now I turn on this relay so this time the common will connect with the ground so this time 12 volt will come from here and the ground will come from here so this way we can change uh, the polarity so this way we can control a DC gear motor and change its direction it can be used in robotics or from any other operation and likewise I told you that if you want to control uh, a bulb for example a bulb for the bulb we don't need to change the polarity so in that case we can connect a bulb over here and we can only turn on and off this relay so when we connect a bulb the plus 12 volt is already connected and when we turn on the ground will be uh, will provide from here so the bulb will turn on and when we turn off this relay it will go back to its previous position so plus 12 volt is coming from here and also from here so it will remain off so by turning on and off only one relay so a bulb can be controlled or solenoid valve can be controlled or any other load can be controlled so that's it these are the connections that we will be using so now uh, i will show you all the connections so this is a trainer that i designed for the tutorials 
Okay, these are the four infrared sensors of the type NPN and these are connected with X0, X1, X2 and X3 and uh, as you can see that each sensor has three wires the blue, brown and black. Black is the output signal and the brown wires are as you can see are connected with the plus 24 volts and the blue wires are the ground wires and as you can see this is the SS contact which is connected with the plus uh, 24 volts and these are the push buttons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 push, push buttons are connected with the PLC as per the schematic the circuit diagram which I have already explained and these are the three edge bridges one two three and these are the output wires with which we can connect a DC motor or a solenoid valve or a DC bulb any any DC load can be connected with here so uh, these are the wires the output wires and as I have told you that we will be using two adopters are so that is the external supply for the load uh, which we can connect with these wires and and this one uh, this supply will be used uh, for energizing the relays to control the relays to turn on and off the relays and one more thing this wire is connected with the common of the with the common of the PLC as you can see that is C0 C2 up to CN so all the common uh, pins of the PLC are connected with 12 volt and and the outputs are connected with the edge bridges and these are the output wires so today we will be using Y6 today we will be using Y6 and Y7 for controlling the a solenoid valve it has two wires two Okay, and these uh, two wires will be connected with these two wires of the edge bridge. So we can, we will be controlling this. So now let's start the programming and then we will practically test it. So in this tutorial we'll be using one sensor and uh, we will use this sensor to control this solenoid valve. So now let's start the programming and then we will upload the program and check this okay open the win proletar software click new and select the type of plc as i'm using fbs 20 mc so i will select this one click okay and now click u on the keyboard and write x0 as the infrared sensor is connected with x0 which is the infrared sensor number one and okay and click F on the keyboard and write toggle and Y6 is the edge bridge is connected with uh, Y6 and click okay so that's it one line code and now click on the PLC click online and come five okay and the PLC is already connected Okay. now run PLC yes okay so now I will show you practically so okay now <coughs> the program is uploaded and you can see the PLC is running I've connected the 12 volt adapter over here and also here a solenoid valve is connected can see the wires it's connected and here's a sensor and now we will check this so when I place my hand in front of the sensor it activates the solenoid valve and the second time so that's it it's working just fine
so this is the final circuit diagram of the automatic water tape control system so for this project we are using only one infrared sensor which is connected with X0 and the remaining two wires which are the brown wire and blue wire are connected with plus 24 volt and ground respectively and the live and neutral uh, contacts are connected with 220 volt AC you can also connect it with 110 and all the uh, common contacts of the PLC are connected with the ground okay and this is an edge bridge two relays are connected with y6 and y7 okay and the plus 12 volt from the external supply is connected with the normally close pins of both the relays as you can see the plus 12 volt is connected with normally close and over here as well and the ground is connected with the normally open and the normally open of the other relay so that's it that's the final connection